As you know, I've been working on a sci-fi story set in virtual reality on a flying saucer, and this week I released version 0.2. So that's very good. It's taken eight months since version 0.1, and I was hoping to get it done in three. So that's more than twice as long, nearly three times as long as I expected it to take. Um, the reason for that are many and varied, as usual. The first month or so went very well. I worked on getting the characters to have a more expressive face. In version 0.1, they were just able to flap their jaw and that was it. They could move their eyes, but couldn't even blink. So I spent the first month or so making sure the characters had the right face deformations so that they could smile and they could frown and they could laugh and, and wink and blink and generally have some kind of expression in their face and, their, and move their lips more accurately as they say different words because just hinging the jaw is never going to be enough is it? You need to be able to have a proper lip sync with at least five, ideally more like seven different uh, vonemes. So that all worked quite well and went according to plan. And then we had the motion capture party. The motion capture party was excellent fun. Uh, I had three friends over and they were running around on my treadmill and they were firing blasters off and they were shooting things with an umbrella, pretending it was a rifle and, and generally they were all up for it and fun and exciting to be around and that was a pleasurable day. But the following month, editing all the models to accept the motion capture data, editing the motion capture data so it was, wasn't terrible, um, importing the motion capture data into the, the game engine and, and then seeing it still was terrible having to polish it all again and again and loop over that a few times. That's what took most of the time for no version 0.2, which is inacceptable. We're going to have to find faster ways of animating than that. And also explains why the animation in 0.2, which is called Eggs by the way, uh, is a bit crappy because there's really no point in me polishing it when I'm going to be in the middle of the next version just deleting it straight away. Mirabelle, Gerald and Susie were the actors that we used in this one and they were all did a good job. Um, two of them came to the studio here and recorded their words. Um, the other one did it at home and emailed them in. All of them did an excellent job and uh, they all seemed to give the script exactly what I needed from it, which is good. And the story, which I got help with from Joanna, was um, an exciting story about veganism and space and protein synth with danger and excitement and adventure. So I hope you'll all tune in in a few days to watch that. And then, after that's released, I'll be getting on with version 0.3. As I say, the first thing I'm going to do is get rid of all the character controller code because it's terrible and it takes far too long to edit anything together. And the whole thing is mind-blowingly tedious. So what we need is a better way of puppeting the characters. I need to be able to be in VR with the face thing strapped to my face and the controllers in my hands and acting the part of the characters. That would be a much faster way of getting the animation. So that's the first thing to do for 0.3. 0.3 is all about different character controlling units. The new character controller will let me do the puppeting to control the characters and then go back and puppet different parts of them is the plan. So you first go through perhaps with the arms and the head and then perhaps edit the legs slightly and, and time control. Time control is the other part that's going to be important. Uh, especially during editing rather than playback. At the moment you might have noticed that the 360 degree version and the, the flat screen version of the films they're slightly different lengths and in fact every time you watch it through it's all a slightly different length depending on on what the characters are randomly deciding to do in the way of fidgeting and and how long it takes them to walk particular distances um, which I thought I wanted but in fact I want it to all run off of the timeline completely at least between interaction moments so whizzing forward and backwards through the timeline will be an important part of the, the storytelling structure and so that's the thing, the other thing for version 0.3. So the main two things, time control, redone character animation. When those two things are done, I'll write another story. And while I'm writing the other story, I will get the current two stories redone in the new system so that they will be able to 
be re-released -re with less shitty animation, in the hope. And then the third story, we'll record that, and then I'll animate that, and then you'll have a new one. Hopefully, version 0.3, around another three, four months, so August-ish. But the last two versions both took me three times longer than I hoped, so who knows. Maybe it'll be 2019. But until then, whenever it is, thanks for watching, and I'll uh, hope you enjoy eggs. <laughs>